He is known for being a Russian revolutionary, politician, journalist, and political theorist. He is recognized for his central role in the establishment of Soviet Russia and the Soviet Union. His name is Leon Trotsky. In the early 20th century, amidst the political turmoil of Russia, a revolutionary emerged as a central figure in the establishment of Soviet Russia and the Soviet Union. His name was Leon Trotsky, and his writings and thought inspired a major school of ideology known as Trotskyism. Born into a wealthy Russian Jewish family, Trotsky's journey began in Yanovka. He embraced Marxism after moving to Nikolaev and quickly became involved in political agitation among workers. His passion for revolution led him to abandon his formal education and dedicate himself to the cause. However, his revolutionary activities landed him in exile in Siberia in 1898. Undeterred, Trotsky escaped to London, where he befriended Vladimir Lenin and began to align himself with the Marxist cause. Throughout his life, Trotsky played a crucial role in the Russian Revolution and the subsequent civil war. From leading the St. Petersburg Soviet in the failed 1905 revolution to becoming chairman of the Petrograd Soviet and joining the Bolsheviks, Trotsky's influence was undeniable. He held important positions, including People's Commissar for Foreign Affairs and People's Commissar for Military and Naval Affairs, founding and leading the Red Army to victory. However, Trotsky's path was not without obstacles. He found himself in opposition to Joseph Stalin and the growing influence of bureaucracy within the party. Trotsky's theory of permanent revolution clashed with Stalin's concept of socialism in one country. In his book, The Revolution Betrayed, Trotsky argued that the Soviet Union had become a degenerated workers' state due to its isolation, calling for a new political revolution to restore the democratic values of 1917. Despite his significant contributions, Trotsky's fate took a tragic turn. In 1940, he was assassinated by a Soviet agent in his Mexican exile. Written out of Soviet history under Stalin, Trotsky's legacy endured through his writings and the ideology of Trotskyism. Through the life and ideas of Leon Trotsky, we explore the complex dynamics of the Russian Revolution and the ideological debates that shaped Soviet Russia. Join us as we delve into the extraordinary life of this revolutionary thinker and the lasting impact he had on history. Leon Trotsky, known as Lev Davidovich Bronstein in his childhood, was born into a wealthy Jewish landowner family in Yanovka, Kherson Governorate, Russian Empire, on November 7, 1879. His parents, David Leontievich Bronstein and Anna Lvovna Bronstein, raised him in a household that spoke a mixture of Russian and Ukrainian. Trotsky was the fifth child, and his younger sister, Olga, would also go on to become a Bolshevik and Soviet politician, marrying the prominent Bolshevik Lev Kamenev. During his childhood, some authors have claimed that Trotsky's first name was the Yiddish Leba. However, there is no documentary evidence to support this claim, and it is likely that his childhood name was Lyova, a standard Russian diminutive of the name Leviticus. His father sent him to Odessa at the age of eight to receive an education at a Lutheran German language school that later became Russified due to the government's policy of Russification. In Odessa, a bustling cosmopolitan port city, Trotsky was exposed to a diverse and international environment that shaped his outlook on the world. While he spoke French, English, and German to a good standard, he considered himself to be most fluent in Russian. Although he registered his children as Lutheran, as required by Austrian law at the time, Trotsky's religious upbringing was not centered around Yiddish but rather a mixture of Russian and Ukrainian traditions. This upbringing and exposure to different languages and cultures would play a significant role in shaping Trotsky's philosophy and worldview. His international outlook would later inform his revolutionary ideas and his belief in the importance of global solidarity among the working class. Trotsky's life experiences and diverse upbringing laid the foundation for his contributions to the Bolshevik movement and his ideologies regarding socialism and the struggle for equality. Leon Trotsky, a prominent figure in the early 20th century, was not always the revolutionary leader he is known as today. His journey towards Marxism and his involvement in revolutionary activities began in 1896 when he moved to the harbor town of Nikolaev on the Ukrainian coast. At that time, he was a Narodnik and initially opposed Marxism. However, everything changed when he met his future first wife, Alexandra Sokolovskaya, who introduced him to the ideas of Marxism. Instead of pursuing a mathematics degree at Odessa University, Trotsky decided to immerse himself in organizing the South Russian Workers' Union in Nikolaev in early 1897. Operating under the name Lvov, he dedicated himself to writing and printing leaflets, distributing revolutionary pamphlets, and spreading socialist ideas among industrial workers and revolutionary students. However, their activities did not go unnoticed by the authorities. In January 1898, Trotsky and over 200 members of the Union were arrested. 
He spent the next two years in prison, first in Nikolaev, then Kherson, Odessa, and finally Moscow. It was during his time in the Moscow prison that he had the opportunity to interact with other revolutionaries. He heard about Vladimir Lenin and read his book, The Development of Capitalism in Russia, which deeply influenced his political beliefs. In the midst of his imprisonment, the first Congress of the newly formed Russian Social Democratic Labour Party took place in March 1898. It was during this Congress that Trotsky officially identified himself as a member of the party, embracing Marxism fully. This pivotal moment marked his transformation from a Narodnik to a committed revolutionary. In Siberia, Leon Trotsky found himself in a prison cell in Moscow, contemplating his future. It was the summer of 1899 when he made a life-changing decision. He married Alexandra Sokolovskaya, a fellow Marxist, in a simple ceremony conducted by a Jewish chaplain. Little did they know that this marriage would provide them with an unexpected opportunity. A year later, in 1900, Trotsky received a four-year exile sentence in Siberia. But because of their marriage, he and Alexandra were allowed to be exiled together. They were sent to U.S.T. Kut and the Verkhalensk in the Baikal Lake region, a remote and harsh environment. Despite the challenging circumstances, their love flourished, and they welcomed two daughters into the world, Zinaida and Nina. It was during his time in Siberia that Trotsky's thirst for knowledge led him to study philosophy. Immersed in the solitude of the Siberian landscape, he delved into deep contemplation and reflection. He became aware of the differing perspectives within the Marxist party, which had been weakened by arrests in previous years. Some, known as, economists, believed that the party should focus on improving the conditions of industrial workers, while others argued for the overthrow of the monarchy as a priority. Trotsky aligned himself with the latter group, supporting the idea of a well-organized and disciplined revolutionary party. His convictions were further solidified when he began writing for the London-based newspaper Iskra in 1902, advocating for these revolutionary ideals. In the summer of that same year, Alexandra played a crucial role in Trotsky's escape from Siberia. Hidden in a load of hay on a wagon, he made his daring getaway. Alexandra and their daughters later managed to escape as well, reuniting as a family once again. However, their happiness was short-lived. Tragedy struck their lives, as both daughters passed away before their parents. Nina succumbed to tuberculosis in 1928, while Zinaida, following in her father's footsteps, joined him in exile in Berlin but tragically took her own life in 1933. Alexandra, suffering from tuberculosis and depression, vanished during the Great Purges in the Soviet Union. Three years later, she was murdered by Soviet forces. The early political activities and life of Leon Trotsky, his first marriage, and Siberian exile shaped his philosophy and his unwavering commitment to revolution. His studies in philosophy deepened his understanding of the complexities of society. His experiences in Siberia exposed him to differing perspectives within the Marxist movement, solidifying his belief in the need for a strong and disciplined revolutionary party. Trotsky's story serves as a reminder of the importance of staying true to one's convictions, even in the face of adversity. It teaches us that love and solidarity can provide strength even in the harshest of circumstances. And it reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge and understanding can shape our beliefs and actions, allowing us to navigate the complexities of life with clarity and purpose. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.